Shot97.com, Drill Rap 24-7. Okay, check us out. Hey, this is the Star Report Early Afternoon Research Edition. I'm your host, Star, okay? Um, if you're new to the show, I slow the pace down in the afternoons or mornings sometimes to comb through stories that we give. And if you are a news connoisseur or you know news junkie like myself, we have to go back and cross-reference things uh, because I have found some inconsistencies in some of the stories that we've been giving over the last week. And um, I want to talk about that. I want to talk about that, all right? My title for right now is the uh, two teenagers, two teenage cheerleaders. And I'm going to use the word confrontation as opposed to shot because um, certain keywords don't allow us content creators to fully monetize our work, the yield of our labor. And do you know why that is? That's because the major news platforms want to still have a control on things. If you use, and I'm not even going to say those words because there's audio algorithms as well. Um, so that's my working title for right now. Let's go back to the major media uh, platforms. In case you don't know, for, for centuries, the news has been uh, geared towards a certain group and or class, and they have, have purposely looked down upon certain other groups or cultures, mainly black people, whether they be FBA, Caribbean, to, 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 to sell that, that channel, that, those news agencies, and, and to build fear amongst the people here in America. Now, um, a lot of the news is scripted, literally. They have chirons that they read from. Um, they have bullet points, talking points, put together by producers, interns, if you will. Anything to, to, to get it out fast. Fast, without really doing in-depth research. And now, more than ever... They are trying to get the news out fast because we've got the ability, us social engineers, content creators, to also give the news. Thus, the reason why it's important for me and some of you as well to go back. All right, so the story with regards to the two cheerleaders, um, roughly 20 miles outside of Austin, Texas, this happened a few days ago. Let me just point some things out here to you. Um, Peyton Washington, 18 years of age, she was seriously injured, okay, had to go to the hospital. Um, a cheerleader, a cheerleader, okay? She was shot, catch this, in the leg and in the back. The back, why was she shot in the back? Not to discredit her, not to sympathize with her being shot, but the alleged shooter, Pedro Rodriguez, he was arrested later. So he didn't stick around on the scene. He didn't try to tell his side of the story. Why did he leave? Did the girls know him? In case you don't know the story, it was four cheerleaders sitting in a vehicle, according to them, okay? And one of them got out of the vehicle a little after midnight, went to open up a car door, and there's Pedro sitting in the passenger seat, not the driver's seat. This is according to CNN and other sources. Why was he sitting in the passenger seat? Who was in the driver's seat? Perhaps someone shopping inside and Pedro was waiting? I don't know. Anyway, this particular um, supermarket, for those of you who do know the story, the car park is often used as a pickup spot for members of the Woodlands Elite Cheer company so this is a place that you know cheerleaders frequent pedro may or may not have known cheerleaders are there did they know each other now here's the tricky part and i'm not trying to in any way shape or form make light of the girl girls plural pardon me being shot because he dumbed out for whatever reason were the girls trying to rob him set him up Something, something to that effect. Yes, they were cheerleaders. They appeared to be wholesome. But females, in case you don't know, in my opinion, are the most vicious, you know, on the planet. 
You know, they will line you up. I've had my dealings. You've had your dealings. So I want to comb through that if you have any information. But more so, I wanted to go back and just um, dig into that story. So, again, he has been arrested. He, he's going to be charged uh, if he hasn't been already. But that's my top story. Also, um, showrunner Garcia and Davis bet the entire fight purse. Are you folks up to speed? Um, that fight coming up soon. Hold on. This weekend, if I didn't say that. Um, I, I don't know who I'm going for just yet. I think Tank is the uh, overall more well-rounded fighter, and we have seen Garcia um, dropped, knocked down, not knocked out, but dropped by a southpaw. So uh, Garcia is going to be fighting uh, Davis, who is a southpaw. Anybody wants to call in, now's the time. I watched a video on Worldstar, like many of you did, where they were on live, and I have to say, who, who is the, who's the monkey? <laughs> One of Tank's friends, he's doing all that, and he's, he's pulling up his sweatpants, he's hollering, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. And it seems like he talked uh, Ryan Garcia into betting the, betting the entire purse. You guys up to speed, troll babies? Are you up to speed? Well, somebody's O has to go. Clearly, this weekend, uh, the 22nd is the fight, in case I didn't mention that. I'm not sure if I'm going to be streaming live or if I'm going to um, uh, uh, um, go watch that, f that fight. Pardon me. Um, I do want to see it. It's on pay-per-view. Okay, and the fight is uh, built as it doesn't get any better than this. Okay. We can talk a little more in detail. Hold on a second. Um, okay, okay, okay. And, and, and thank you for, if you, if you were with me last night, we did a, um, um, we did a show, and I put some things on the table, and Alkaline City did respond, pardon me, via email to the protest going on today for those who care. For those who care. Let me get his email. Alkaline City, okay. Um, the protest in New York City. The Puerto Rican is not for sale. We didn't get a big, a big response last night, but I, I felt that that was um, a topic that we should at least um, put on the table. So he may or may not call in this afternoon, all right? Desmond Fox, I got your email. Uh, I'll get back to you shortly. Thank you for tapping in. Uh, is it Zach? Zach, I got your donation. Uh, you're, you're, he says, you are appreciated. Okay, thank you. Ronnie, R listen, man, in case you haven't heard, you know, Ronnie's doing great. Most people know Ronnie helped me. Ronnie and I are always in contact, but Ronnie's busy. Ronnie's got three companies she's running, you know, uh, but she's out there. You can always holler at Ronnie on social media. She responds if she's not too busy. But uh, thank you for your donation, okay? I spoke to Ronnie two weeks ago, to be precise. Des, I got your donation. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to go live, as I just said. Uh, but I, I want to know now, if you are a boxing guy, Des, please call in. Did they really bet the entire purse? Um, I, I, I think Tank is, the again, the better, well-rounded fighter. But Garcia seems very confident. He doesn't seem like he's nervous at all. At all. Okay, phone lines open. 704, sit tight, I see you. Sit tight, okay? And, um, okay, these other emails I'll get back to later. Now, as I said, I'm doing research this afternoon. Um, in case you're not to speed, this might be too early now to talk about the the black man, there's a manhunt. Are you guys up to speed? It's not a laughing matter, let me just say that. North Carolina, black man started ripping shots, shot a six-year-old uh, little white girl, shot the girl's father, supposedly over a basketball that went into his yard. His name is Robert Singletary. Are you guys up to speed? Robert Singletary, North Carolina, Gaston County. Now, I want to, um, as I said, with regards to research, comb through this slow, see if it's more than just the basketball that went into his yard. Because the news, again, they, they are there to shock us. 
target a certain group as being the bad people. Nothing justifies this man. Uh, well, the six-year-old, it, it looks like the bullet may have went in and out. She's okay. She's talking, talking to the camera. Her father's still in the hospital. Um, I'm not fully, fully sure what happened. They're just saying the basketball went into his yard. Now, for anybody who has seen the story, as I did this morning, the mother of the little six-year-old white girl appeared, appeared to be someone with a possible drug habit. You guys up to speed? Are you up to speed? Not saying that makes her a bad person. But what type of area did they live in? Did the black man get tired of them violating his space? Is he a hardworking black man? Was the white family up all hours of the day, all, all night? Basketball, the basketball keeps going into the yard and breaking up his shit and he just snapped? That's what I'm discussing this afternoon as well, all right? Area code 704, sit tight. I want to lay some of this out, and I will, I will get to some calls, all right? Um, what's my other show runner? Hold on a second. Uh, okay, let me put this on the screen now. We'll come back to Garcia and Davis, the fight. And I do want some opinions um, with regards to who you think is going to win. Black man shoots neighbors over basketball. That's in North Carolina, in case you don't know, okay? And I think that's it. I want to stay on these topics I want to come back a little bit later to Ralph Yarrell. You guys know who Ralph Yarrell is, the 16-year-old. I'm a little curious as to why he's sitting outside now a week later after being shot in the head. Along with his attorney, uh, Lee Merritt. We've heard of Lee Merritt before. Sitting outside. Looks fine to me. Supposedly shot in the head, right? Area code 704. Good afternoon. Doing research. Are you there? You have to speed. 704. Yes, no, maybe. Please don't have me on mute calling yeah, me. Yeah, what up, Star? Yeah, yeah, what up, Star? Yes, sir. How are you? How are you? Yo, what's up, man? Uh, man, I wanted to speak on uh, hey, what was that? The uh, Gaston County uh situation. Say again. Say again. The Gaston County situation. Yeah, the black man supposedly he sh he shot up the whole family. It's just and he emptied, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, ran, ran out of bullets, so that's why he hauled ass. From what they're saying, helicopters, all all sorts of stuff. Just watch the language, please. It's early afternoon. Go ahead. Go ahead. I got you. Go that, ahead. Hey, look, you know I'm down here in the Queen City. That don't sound like nothing but a uh, drug deal gone bad. Mm. Boy, probably pulled up to the. Sir, come closer to the phone. Closer, closer. Please come closer. Uh, all right. Can you hear me? Can you there hear you me? go. Yeah. You were saying now. Go ahead. Uh, the the dude probably walked up to the dude other dude house like yo, why are you serving my girl all these drugs? You know what I'm saying? He probably popped his ass, popped him. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what that sound like. That's Gastonia, bro. Feel me? They population probably like two hundred thousand people. You know what I'm saying? Do you know that area, sir? Gaston, Gaston County. Do you know that area? Yeah, yeah. It's short for Gastonia. Okay, okay. Go ahead. That's where the niggas move when they can't afford to live in the city. Ooh, okay. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be down there with all the red men. Mm. Shot the six-year-old. Did you see her? Like Did you see the six-year-old talking? No. Mm. Okay. Go ahead. No. Uh, Come the on. other thing was Come on. the Javante Davis and Ryan Garcia fight. Listen, it's going to be lit, lit, lit. You hear me? When they just, when I just found out, I just seen them, um, the guy you were talking about that was hanging with uh, Tank Davis. Yeah. That's a, uh, Yo, who is that guy? Hanging. Who is he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a, uh, he's a, like, he's like a, he's like a streamer, like, you know what I'm saying? He's lit. Uh, I think his name, like, Kyle. He's annoying. He's, he's pulling up his sweatpants. He's. He, he runs back and he's jumping yeah, around. You know, he's up his bet, he bet the whole purse. Bet the whole purse. Up the set. Oh my god! He's amping up the set. You know what I'm saying? Listen, his his views are, is crazy. They they kind of like 
like his views is up there like they close to academic views like okay, okay. like he's like well he's, send me a link i don't i don't want to promote him i'm i'm just concerned about them betting the entire purse uh, who are you going with who are you going to pick to win the fight i'm going with tank okay you know what i'm saying i got much respect for ryan garcia don't get me wrong okay from 2020 i've been i've been i've been keeping a close eye on this guy ryan garcia okay. and i knew i didn't know that they was going to fight i thought it was going to be Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney, you know okay. what I'm saying? But right, right, when I right. found out these two were fighting, I said, oh my, yeah, this going to be going this, down. This going to be one of the long ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, I appreciate the call, man. Have a good Bad day. Bad bitch is going to be out. Okay, okay. Easy with the profanity. We were doing good. We were doing good. <sighs> yep. This Saturday is the fight, April the 22nd. Robert Singleter, yep. Gastonia, Gaston County. Hold on a second. Guys, sit tight on the phones. I want to read something here. Now, the story says that the shooter was trying to shoot the child and the father, William White, he was critically injured attempting to protect his daughter. I'm not saying that didn't happen, but again, because these news media corporation vehicles are trying to be first, they will say what they think will, will bring in the traffic. They, they are the biggest algorithm whores, in case you don't know. Uh, suspected shooter uh, grew angry and ran down the street and he fired at neighbor. The neighbor. Okay. He grew angry, and he just started running down the street. Pow, 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 pow. That could have happened. He had an incident with his girlfriend. I want to get that information as well. Um, about a month prior. Police had to get involved. We'll come to that shortly, okay? Um, area code 330. Good afternoon. Doing a little research. Are you there? 330. Hey, What's going on, sir? Hey, how are you, sir? Cracking, shaking? Pretty good, man. I want to, I want to call and talk about the Tank and Ryan fight, if you don't mind. Yeah, but your, your phone sounds a little crazy. You driving? You driving? Can you hear me now? Yeah, much better. How are you, sir? Where do you want to start? I'm pretty good, man. I just wanted to call and touch on the Tank and Ryan fight. Please. I, I saw what you were talking about with the dude, Kai Sinet. I didn't, um, I didn't like that too much on Tank's side. Yeah, um, yeah. I felt like that was really just amping up the set a lot. A little bit too much for me. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't... I, I understand what they have to do to get people to watch the fight, but uh, I can't find any reports of what the actual purse is. Uh, how about you? They're not letting that information out yet. I, I can't either, but Leonard Ellaby, who used to be with Mayweather Promotions, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. he's helping promote the fight. And he said that, that that's not true, that they're not betting the purse. Okay. Like, that came out that it's not true. Okay. It's just something to, you know, make people talk about it. Got, got you. The blog's talking about it, and I believe it's us right now. Well, so I'm talking about it's it. It's not true at all. I'm talking. Well, it was entertaining, the clip. <laughs> it's entertaining as hell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and that clip, I kind of side, side with Ryan, you know, because he said, I'm doing the work, and y'all sitting up there talking about it. But I am a Tank fan, but okay. in that certain instance, I, I, I was side with Ryan in mm -hmm. particular. <laughs> um, t tell me about Tank as far as a boxer. I know that Mike, Mike uh, Tyson gave him a lot of praise recently, right? Oh, yeah. Tank is considered the miniature Mike Tyson because of his knockout power. Okay. But one thing people don't realize about Tank is that he also has the boxing guy Q. I don't know if you remember when he fought a dude named Pitbull Cruz. I he do. actually broke his. I his do. wrist, mm -hmm. he actually broke his wrist or hand, and he couldn't box with that hand, mm -hmm. and he had to outbox in the whole fight, and then went the distance. Mm -hmm. and that's not usually typical of Tank, so that just showed his IQ. Okay. And uh, his last fight against Garcia, um, he he hit dude so hard that he couldn't see. Mm. Dude went to the corner and said, "I can't see anymore right, after right. one hard punch." Okay. So this this is uh this is gonna be a very exciting fight. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, somebody's O oh, has to go because they're both undefeated. Um, I'm leaning towards Tank, but I want to see a good fight. I'm, I'm not one of those people who's just going to, you know, jump on one person's bandwagon without respecting the other person's, you know, uh, 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 power. And Garcia's got power. He's, he's dropped, uh, I'm trying to figure out how many people he's knocked out. Is it 20? 
Uh, let, let me not even see until I pull it. He has, a, information. he has a very high knockout ratio, both of them. Yeah, yeah. Both of them. Okay. So okay. from from the ratio, somebody somebody's going out. It's not going it's not going to go the distance, in my opinion. Somebody's getting knocked out. You think so? And uh, I think that person is going to be Ryan Garcia. Mm. <laughs> well, he has been knocked mm. down just, in the past by a, by a South Pole. You know this. Yeah, yeah. He, he he was knocked down by Luke Campbell, who can't crack an egg. Sorry, for real. But he caught Ryan. He caught Ryan Garcia, and Ryan Garcia got up and he hit him with a body a body blow. Yeah, and that was impressive with Ryan Garcia. But I just feel like Tank Davis is cut from a different cloth, and I think that it's all going to come out Saturday, if you ask me. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking right now. I, I had that information. Uh, Garcia has won all but four of his 23 wins via knockout. All but four. Yeah. Hey, uh, hey, Star. What do you think about? Javante Davis and Floyd Mayweather, they've been going back and forth at it, some type of beef, and he left Mayweather promotions. Do you think he'll be at the fight Saturday? I think that'll be Will he be? I'm sure he'll be there. You know, oh, I, I thought you were going to say, are they going to fight? <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. No, no, hell no, hell no. <laughs> I just wonder if, I just wonder if Floyd be there with all the goddamn chains on. <laughs> you know, flossing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> all right. Hey, hey, man, Um, thank you for tapping. Anything else you want to say about the fight coming up Saturday? Oh, no, man. I'm just looking forward to having a good night and seeing a great fight. That's mm -hmm. it, man. Thanks for taking my call. Thank you for the call. Thank you. Okay. Right. G guys, whatever happened to Adrian Broner's upcoming fight? Did, did he fight already? When is that happening? About billions. Des, did I pick up your call? Uh, or was that him? That may have been him, Mary Code 571. Hmm. Guys, whatever happened to Adrian Broner's uh, fight? Okay, we'll figure it out. Mary Code 561, good afternoon. 561, you there? Hey, what's up? It's, it's all right, it's right. I'm sorry, who's this? I said, what's up, Star? How are you doing today? This hey. is Maliki from Broward. Hey, what's up, man? It's cracking with you. Uh, no, I'm so for the fight. Uh, Kai Sinat, he's one of the biggest Twitch streamers, like the caller before just said. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a it's a big marketing hype move. Uh, try, try, probably trying to bring the younger crowd in because oh, they're coming. That's a demographic there, but they're coming. But uh, is the fight in Miami? Don't you know? Hang on a second. I got all the information right here. Uh, T-Mobile Arena, no, no, Nevada. T-Mobile Arena. Ah, okay. No, that's interesting. Nevada. Uh, I, I haven't been into a boxing fight in a while, like like into it as I follow it, but this one's got me tapped in. So okay. I think Tank's going to take it home and to make a lot of money. Okay. But hey. it would make it more interesting if the winner did take the whole purse. I'll give it that. They should, they should follow through with that. Yeah. Did you say you're from Broward County? That's correct. That's correct. Holy smokes. I watched a video yes or yeah, yesterday, late last night, as I'm sure many people did. Th that Grand Theft Auto carjacking thing that went on with the Tesla. You up to speed on that? There's one... Every fucking day. Yeah. Gotta watch the language. It's too early for that, man. Gotta oh, watch sorry, the language. Pardon, pardon, Can't pardon, do pardon. That. No, yeah. that, that's regular. That's regular. That's regular. Yeah. That's regular here. But what, and when in, when did it happen? Yesterday or the day before? I'm gonna Google it right now. Yeah, it was a uh, carjacking. I did hear about that this week. Yeah, I mean that stuff has been going on down there for, for for well over 15 years. I've been seeing those stories, but this one in particular: two carjacking suspects in custody. One of the guys, um, he he, before he crossed over into some type of little uh, pond area, he takes off his sneakers. <laughs> Throw oh yeah, he's got he had like a long ass gun. He had a long gun that he pulled out. Well, that that was prior. He put his sneakers on the, the grass to then go through the little uh, lake or swamp area. He leaves the sneakers there, and then he's running. I mean, they eventually caught up to him, but it's just like, why, why does that happen so much in Broward County and, and other areas down there in Florida? Why? Well, what is it over there with, with the carjackings and runnings? 
Well, you you see a lot of Jamaicans and Haitians here, especially the more west you go in Broward. Okay. okay. Uh, I think a lot of their culture from their and I'm Dominican, right? Okay. So I have somewhat of a third party first hand mm-hmm. experience with this. I mean, I've had my shoes taken from me from some Haitians back at home. So mm. it is what it is. Okay. Okay. Uh, now the guys I saw looked looked Hispanic, uh, and to be precise, they were in uh, Tamarick. Tamarick. Palm. Oh yeah, that's West. Like I said, West Broward. Yeah. It's West, like I just said. Palm Beach County, uh, in Tamarick, around 3 p.m. So so, you know, I mean, we just did a show on um, does America have a culture crisis? These one of those guys looked like some type of you know Hispanic. But go, you were saying, go ahead. There's definitely immigrants here that don't assimilate to whatever popular or mainstream culture is here. Right, right. And they're either ignorant to it, uneducated to it, or they're just stubborn and uh, I guess feel entitled to gangster. Still <laughs> gangster. Be, you know what I mean? I guess continue their culture from there and not like, ignore our culture. Yeah, here. yeah, so, yeah. yeah. So. Hey man, thanks for the call. Thanks for the call. Uh, real quick. I've spoken to him in the past. Propane K1982 got your donation. <coughs> Started, you see, uh, the King Von <coughs> doc on Traplore. Uh, Ross, no, not yet. <clears throat> Can you send me a link? I ain't seen a nigga fearlessly catch bodies like that since e money bags. Mmm. I am going to watch it. If you find the time, sir, send me a link. Thank you for your donation. When did it come out? Um, yeah, I went to the King Von mural in O Block uh, right before my, what was that? That was in November, early November, before my California road trip. TJ, got your donation. Thank you for tapping in. Garcia is trash. That nigga is bugging. He need all the money to pay for those Mexican uh, alleged abortions, okay. Old Taku, uh, will you be covering the fight? Um, again, man, I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure. I, I was gonna try and do something a little different this Saturday, just just to you know to to move around. Um, I'll keep you posted though. Luna Glider got your donation. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Hey, before I go back to the current. Topics, and I think I'm going to switch to talk about uh, Garcia versus um, Tank in my title. Unless you guys want to explore the, the 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 cheerleaders being shot, I just I find that odd that one of them was shot in the back. Let me just put something else on the table. Again, doing research here in the afternoons, we have to go back sometimes. Remember when the story from the mainstream news platforms came out? that Ralph Yarrow was shot twice. He was shot through the glass, and then supposedly the shooter, 85-year-old, came outside and then shot him again. Well, that didn't happen. Now more information has come out, and we can see Ralph Yarrow sitting. This is a recent picture with, uh, again, a lawyer, Lee Merritt. He's sitting there. He's I don't know whether he has a, a, a shaved part in his head or maybe that's where the bullet supposedly hit him. But now the update, catch this. Prosecutors said when the teenager rang the bell, Lester shot him twice through a glass door with a 32 caliber revolving, striking him in the head and forearm. So he shot through the glass twice. So he was shot in the head and the forearm. Not, not shot twice in the head as we were reporting. And, you know, just to be fast and first, it didn't happen like that. Anyway, he's sitting outside again. And that, that, that's a good thing. We want him to have a full recovery. Um, but how, how much money has the family made now? Over $3 million in the GoFundMe? $3 million. Three million, the GoFundMe page at this point in time, right? Um, 
Hey, area code 647. Good afternoon. I'm doing research. Are you up to speed or can you contribute to the topics? 647. Good afternoon, Star. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Who's this? Uh, yeah. So I just wanted to comment on the the actual boxing fight, the Garcia versus Tank. Okay, okay, go ahead. So it's not even close. Uh, Tank is going to win, and he's going to knock him out hmm. probably in round seven to round eight. Okay. And it's not it's not it's not even uh it's not it's not even a challenge to be honest. That that Mexican kid doesn't have a chance. He doesn't have enough power. He doesn't. He doesn't have enough knockout power, to be honest. And I think a lot of people would would agree with that. Hmm. You're, you're a boxing fan. You 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 know this world, or you're just giving your opinion based upon what? To be precise. Um, I, well, my opinion is based on Tanks like uh, fighting history. Okay. He's he's been knocking out. He's been knocking out spicks like crazy. Okay. Um, with and, some, uh, somebody asked if Floyd May, May Mayweather was going to be there, I, I would imagine so. Did he and um, uh, Tank fall out? I, I saw Adrian uh, Broner amping up the set. Yeah, you know what's funny? Uh, AB. I'm sorry. Say, got, relationship. Say again. Say again. Uh, Adrian Broner and Tank used to have a very close relationship. Mm -hmm. After AB fell out with Floyd Mayweather, and ever since AB like just fell out, like he ha he hasn't been boxing. He's been saying he's gonna become. And ever since that, like Floyd Mayweather hasn't hasn't been talking to him. Okay. So yeah, so him, uh, Tank and AB don't talk anymore as well. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Now, what happened to um, Adrian Broner? He was he had an upcoming fight. What's going on with that? Yeah, well, he he was signed. He was signed to another uh, uh, management, but he was supposed to be. He was supposed to fight like a couple months ago, but again, he like he, they they just called it. They just canceled it, and he had no reason for it. Oh wow! I didn't a know lot that. of people were saying he was going through mental issues. Okay. Okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, he's probably going through child support also. <laughs> child support. Oh yeah, he's going through a lot of stuff <laughs> like. He, he, <laughs> he's going right. through he's going through a nigger issue <laughs> okay well hey man thank you for the call thank you thank you thank you sir yes sir okay okay i'm gonna change that title but i'm, I'm glad we did touch on uh some of the other topics hold on a second <clears throat> Again, that thing with the cheerleaders being shot. I just, I said, whoa! Why, why, did, why did he shoot the one chick in the back? What was she? Was she running away? Did the jokes go down? Did she promise him something and didn't deliver? Did she cut his pocket? That that's an old saying. Cut his pocket. Please let's get it out of here. Predictions. Tank versus Garcia. Saturday night. Uh the biggest fight. Let me, let me just read something. Hold on a second, guys. Okay, um, According to TalkSport.com, they're saying Davis has the advantage in terms of experience, having previously won world titles in the super featherweight division, and has knocked out all but two opponents he has faced. Garcia is significantly taller. We know this. He's known for lightning fast hands and has packs. He packs a punch, too. Um... Uh, okay, I got your, your donation here. That boy isn't betting his purse. That's all for hype. Okay, well, so I'm just going by the, the, the video that we saw. Garcia said, let's, let's sign the papers. He said that. He said it's already, he said everything is already on the line. Yes? Thank you for your donation. Florida crimes and product of all costs. Go ahead. 
Yeah, you know, I, I was, uh, uh, just to respond to your, your donation, uh, you said Florida crime is going up. I thought I was going to move down to Clearwater. I got down there. I like the way it looks, but uh, when I started doing doing some research on the crime, I said, uh, I don't know. Then there were some other things that just turned me off, but uh, thank you for your donation. Let's go to every code 404. Um, good afternoon. Doing a little research. Are you up to speed on the topics? Come on, man. Come on, man. This is last night, the Zanzibar, man. What's going on with you, man? I, um, crack. Crack. I ain't doing that, uh, man. I'm watching... Um... I just got finished. Con comes back to Harlem now. I'm watching uh, come back Charleston Blue. Mm. So, um, you know, I'm kicking back. Uh, in a, in a degree, I'm not a boxing fan. Okay. Um, I do want to do take the knock Garcia out, just off the strength of uh, what, what's the guy on um, Lake Wazamo or this new high end thing where they're saying that um, Puerto Ricans built America, or something like that. I'm not quite sure if you. Ran across that, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but uh, well, John Leguizamo. I don't think is he Puerto Rican. I forget. He came on my show. Good guy. I got to Google. He may be a mixture, but the, yeah, he he's doing the most right now. Go ahead, go ahead. I'll Google him whilst whilst you're. Yeah, you're and, you know that, that's what happened when 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 Hollywood get through with him. You know they mm-hmm. they say anything to try to get that clout back or get that fame. So I, I, I want I want to take the knock out, knock the dude out, but then I want a real black boxer to come in and take him off the show. Mm, um, I think it's time. I think it's time for uh, you know just just people to kind of wake up and see what's going on. There is no culture. Okay. And I hope people hear me and hear this loud and clear. There is no culture. If you claim a black culture, pretty much you're dang, you're, you're claiming victimization. You're claiming death. You're claiming despair. They're not putting the numbers out there what these boxes are making because it's pretty much pennies on a dollar. You know, after your brain gets juggled a few times, that's all you're going to be worth anyway. But um, I disagree with regards to culture. And um, if I can just say this, I'll give you the last word. You know, I will. <clears throat> FBA culture has always set the trends and been highly influential here in america now to be more precise capitalism is american culture that is our culture people misuse it people get greedy and violate it but that is our culture capitalism go ahead well i i I agree with that um capitalism it is a culture within itself but i think um for for black entities is always overthrown um, they never, they never really take a deep look at the real culture of, of how these people write over their rights, write over their millions, mm-hmm. and overtaken by the bigger guy. Okay. So, uh, okay. you know, I, I, I agree with that umbrella of capitalism, but I think as an individual um, culture, species, or race, uh, black people don't have no culture. It has been not only hijacked, given away. And I don't think it's um I don't think they give a damn, and it's too far to come back. <laughs> so, up until then, you know, uh, I'm cool while I'm at it. By yo, be cool. Last night, the boy, I'm out of here. Good to talk to you, man. Thank you, thank you, folks. If you're new to the show, I like to let other people or the callers have the last word, even if I don't agree with them. This is the objective perspective. Um. Speaking of the news, as I started out talking about different um, crimes and the major news vehicles that um, will just put something out there fast and and they want to cause fear and and get people hooked, get people hooked on fear. Um, That Grand Theft Auto style carjacking that I watched and many of you saw, pardon me, um, yesterday, out of Broward County. That was crazy. Anybody see that? That was crazy. Sheesh. And I just pulled up uh, John Leguizamo's uh, information. He's, according to uh, Wikipedia, Colombian Spanish. Hmm. I thought he was Puerto Rican. He came on my show. I think I'm going to pull the uh, 
the video. And we've got him on videotape on the Hot 97. I forget what film he was working on at the time. He, is he claiming Colombian Spanish now? He, a lot of Puerto Ricans do that. <laughs> Maybe he is. I don't know. Some of Sam Moulin Rouge. Hmm. Love and time goes right. Just go. Good guy, though. Good guy. Um, TJ, got you on the donation. Thank you for tapping in. Uh, Maurizio, um, yeah, the protest is today up in, hang on a second, New York City, okay, uh, Puerto Rican, the Puerto, the Puerto Rican is not for sale campaign, okay, that's today, um, the American Museum of Natural History, I think it's 5 p.m., hold on guys, And it has to do with the, the PROMESA bill. We spoke about this briefly yesterday. Nobody really responded, with the exception of someone in the comments. And I do want to give her some acknowledgement uh, after I take another, another one of these calls. Let me go to area code 570 first. Uh, good afternoon. Are you there? Doing a little research. 570. Hey, what's good? Okay. What's up, man? How are you? Everything is good, Star. Were you chiming you in, sir? Yes, I can hear you. Are you chiming in on the topics? Yeah, um, what's the topic? Uh Javante versus um It's on the screen. It's on the uh, screen. Ryan. It's on the screen. It's on the screen. Just research. A little okay, slower pace. Okay. A little slower pace. Go ahead. Okay, okay. Nah, I just wanna say, you know, they both from from my um from watching videos and everything, they both nice. Both of them are good, you know, so I think it's going to be one of the greatest fights in boxing, you know what I mean? And I can't wait to see who wins. Mm -hmm. Do you know boxing, sir? Because, you know, I mean, I, I keep up as best I can. I've, I've been a boxing commentator from time to time out here in the uh, uh, Atlanta metro area. I, I, mean, I, 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 do, um, I do work with younger people who, who box. You can go to my IG page and see that. Do you know boxing? Nah, not off the top. Okay. I don't. I don't. Um, I okay. don't know boxing. I just watch. You okay. know, you know <laughs> the, the latest fights and things of that nature. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. I yeah. appreciate the call, man. So what's if, the other topic? Uh, hold on a second, man. I'm I'm uh, taking a screenshot. Well, we're doing research uh, on a few things. Uh, two cheerleaders were shot right outside of Austin, and and I'm questioning the story. It sounds a little crazy, and I'm also. Uh, going back to the young young black man who was supposedly shot twice in the head. New information says he wasn't shot twice in the head. He was shot in the forearm and the head. He's now sitting outside a week later in the sun. I, I, I don't see, see you know, where the, the bullet went in or maybe it grazed him. I don't know. There's no research. What's yeah, that's it? crazy. Um, First of all, First, first of all, the cheerleaders, the cheerleader situation, I watched that this morning. Okay. And um, they said that he shot five times. Allegedly, he shot five times at him. Now, if somebody tried to jump in my car, you know what I mean, and whatever, I mean, I'm going to see his females. They said it, I think it was four cheerleaders. Yep. And he shot one of them twice, I think, allegedly. He shot two cheerleaders. Now, 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 hang on a second. Again, the reason for this research show is because the media tells us one thing because they just want to get it out fast. They're, they're, literally, right, right. they're literally reading from bullet points or a Chiron, you know, Chiron machine, which has the, 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 the text running across. So, so they're just doing their job. In terms of doing real in-depth research, it's different now. We have to dig. So I'm just asking the question, do you think that the girls tried to set him up, play him, rob him? Yeah. They're giving yeah. the same story, all four girls. No, she, she got in the wrong car. Well, how you get in the wrong car and somebody nah, just, just nah, starts busting shots? For him. Come on. Yeah, for him, to, for him to let off five shots, I think that was something kind of personal. I think he had some type of personal interaction with one of them. 
at least one of them. I'm not sure if it was the one that got shot or the two that got shot or whatever the case may be. But, yeah, some type of personal interaction. You know what I mean? That's crazy. For You know what I mean? Somebody trying to come up in your car, your whip or whatever, and you just letting off five shots. At least you're going to pause after the second shot. I think. I don't know. But. Sir, can we keep it G this afternoon? How old are you? And are you a hood nigga? How old are you? You talking to, you talking to me if I'm a hood nigga? <laughs> How old are you? And are, are you a hood nigga? I'm 44. Nigga? I'm 40, okay. Okay. I'm 44. So per- I've, been, I've, been, I've, been, I've, been, I've been listening to you since I was like 14. Okay. Yeah, okay. Since I was like 14. Stay with me. Stay with me. Stay no. with me. Stay with me. Have you ever been set up yeah. and or robbed by a female? Keep it real. I have. Keep it real. N- not not by a female. Nah, nah. But yeah, I've been I've been home invaded. I've been um yeah, I've been robbed. I've been home invaded or whatever the case may be. But not by a female. Nah. Okay. Okay. Nah. I appreciate the call, man. Have yeah. a good day. Salute. Salute. Yeah. No doubt. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's always a bitch somewhere. <laughs> it's always a bitch somewhere that had something to do with it, you know? If, you, if you've been the victim of a home invasion, who do you think tells the, the gunman how to get to you? A female? Hang on a second. Oh, peace, peace on a Thursday afternoon. Peace. Absolutely. Peace, peace. What's good, man? <laughs> Left-handed. Good to hear from you, man. Uh, your video's in the community section, you and Yada Bear. Uh, where do you want to start, man? Where do you want to start? Um, first first of all, I'm going to say I appreciate you, man. And Thank I appreciate you. all the, the people leaving their comments, you know what I mean? Okay. In the video and all that. And um, we right there with them. Um, down at Sports Talk, man, Tuesday, 8 to 9 p.m. We do a Tuesday and Wednesday shows this month because we celebrate in one year. Okay. And I want to thank you for that, man, because nice. you're the one that made the connect. Nice. You know what nice. I mean? So nice. a salute to you. Okay. Um, yeah, me and Yada Bear, man, every Tuesday night, Tuesday and Wednesdays this whole month. Um, we talked last night about NBA playoffs, Stanley Cup playoffs, of course, mm-hmm. and we talked about the fight um, coming up Saturday night in Las Saturday Vegas night. at the T-Mobile Arena. Saturday night. Um, I'm looking forward to it, man. The The weigh-in is going to be crazy. All right, they got all the politeness and the nice stuff out the way at the first two press conferences for the fight. first one was in, um, in New York, um, Times Square. The second one was out in L.A. Now they're going to have the weigh-in, and that's going to be the best part. Okay. All the nice stuff is out the window. Now we're about to get really real because the fight is going down Saturday. Mm-hmm. Um, we're looking at Tank Davis. Definitely, you know, um, he's the favorite. Absolutely, um, he's, he he does his numbers. Absolutely, um, I asked Yada Bear that she watched the last fight. I mean, the fight that he had with Leo Santa Cruz, mm-hmm. and um, she was like, "Yeah, I watched it." And again, um, Tank finds his way. I said last night on the, on on the show that the only thing I'm worried about in regards to Tank is if he starts slow. Okay, he can't really afford to start slow in this fight. You know what I mean? He has to, you know, get his thing because. Ryan Garcia is going to be coming at him. Okay. Um, and, and Tank, usually, you know, he, he adapts to a situation. And as we all saw, you know, in his last few fights, he knocked out Santa Cruz in the sixth round. He got rid of Riley Romero in the sixth round. Okay. The, guy, the other guy, Garcia, that he fought, couldn't, um, couldn't um, finish. He, he, he rested on his stool after the eighth round, so he didn't come out for the ninth. Um so Ryan Garcia. Now h- hang on, if I can jump in for a second. Um, are you gonna watch yeah. it? Are you gonna watch it? Because I saw you on social media saying you were gonna be at a concert Saturday. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be um, at the um, Ari the Rugged Man and Onyx show. That's like he, he invited me out. Right. Um, Good people. That, you know, by the time that's over with, man, the fight probably still won't be happening yet. So okay. I'll you know probably try to race to the crib or okay. find somewhere to fight at you know twelve o'clock, one o'clock in the morning. How you okay. doing? Okay. Okay. Um. But yeah, man, I'm I'm looking forward to a good one. I think it's definitely not going 12. Um, again, like I was saying, Luke Campbell, he touched up uh, Ryan Garcia, put him on the mat, and I think that's still going to be in the back of Ryan Garcia's head. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, I think it's going to be in the back of his mind. Um, Tank Garcia, Tank Garcia, Tank Davis is going to do his numbers, man. Um, well, ha- hang on a second. I'm going to jump in here because you said you said. Uh, Tank can't start out slow. I, I kind of like when start. No. I kind of like when fighters start out slow. You, you know, Floyd has been known for starting out slow and letting other people, 
get a little too hyped and and he watches them make their mistakes and tank has mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. tank came out of floyd's camp yes to some degree absolutely so yes, to some so, degree absolutely yeah. yeah so he's going to be watching your mistakes and and tank can take a shot so i i, I I'm, I'm just again I, I don't claim to have the insight here but if garcia right, right. If, if, if he tires himself out too fast I, I think Tank is going to mm. pick him off somewhere around the, 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 the eighth round. Eighth round, just pick him off okay. and, and, and nail him and whammo. That's my opinion. Go ahead. No doubt. And, and, and the reason why I said that is because, you know, in the beginning, like you say, it's, it's a filling out process. First mm-hmm. couple of rounds of the fight, it's a filling out process. But I'm just thinking that, you know, um, Ryan Garcia, you know, he's going to you know, try to come out there and, and, and try to really put pressure on Tank. You know what I mean? So Tank's gonna have to, you know, get his get his off as well. Yeah. And as far as the 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 bet, the winner take all thing, Ryan Garcia should have really kept his mouth closed because remember he was ringside at the Rowley fight. He bet, I think it was um, who did he bet? Errol Spence. I forget. Ringside, okay. twenty thousand dollars. And 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 Tank knocked out Rowley Romero. So that bet thing <laughs> don't really you know work for for, for uh, Ryan Garcia. Right, right, right. But yeah, man, I'm not gonna keep you. Well, 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 no, hold on. Stay, stay with me. Stay with me because um, I'm here, uh, I'm here. this fight is huge. Somebody's O yes. has to go. Do Tank and Floyd even speak now? I saw Adrian Broner talking some old crazy uh, gossipy type stuff uh, last month. Do Tank and Floyd even speak or <laughs> bad blood? I don't know, man. I think, you know, I, you know, we saw Floyd at the last couple of, you know, Tank Davis fights. I think they're cordial with each other. It's always business first. Mm-hmm, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? And what they say is what they're going to say and how they deal with each other. But I think it's always business. Um, how, you know, what we see is them being cordial to each other. Mm-hmm. Floyd is at the fights. He's cheering them on. You know what I mean? So, again, whatever they have going on besides that, that's between them. And um, I'm just looking forward to a, a great event now, bringing boxing back. Now, again... I, I'm, I'm saying that that might happen, but a lot of these cats are gonna have to get, you know, from behind their promoters and right, networks right. and stuff, and get in the ring. You know, we see we see Tank Davis a lot, not for nothing. We see Tank Davis a lot, man. You know what I mean? Um, he's very consistent, mm. and so a lot of these guys, like the Terrence Crawfords of the world, the Earl Spencers of the world, these guys got to, you know, hopefully they, you know, take a heed to this and want to get in the ring and, okay. and see each other, and then we okay. can really talk about boxing not being on life support. Yeah, you know I got I mean? one more question for you. This okay. is this is a cra- this is a crazy question. <laughs> if if Floyd were to fight Canelo again, would it be yeah. would it be even match now because Floyd? in my opinion and the opinion of others, whipped Canelo's ass. Now, Floyd is older now, and Canelo's a much better fighter than when Floyd whipped his ass in 2014 or 13, I forget. Um, and I know, I know that people want that fight. That's in the back of Canelo's head, and it's in the back of Oscar, back of Oscar De La Hoya's head. Any chance that they would fight yeah. again? Just Let's say Floyd says, hey, you know, I just, like, I'm going to go ahead and get that $500 million. What do you think? I think that he would have to convince Floyd. It would be hard to convince Floyd. No, no, I'm, I'm saying, no, 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 no. I'm saying it's on and popping. Who, who would win that outcome? This is a hypothetical if they agreed to fight. Who would win that, that fight now? Floyd being older and Canelo being a better fighter. That's crazy question uh, okay they fought they fought 10 years ago back in 2013 okay, Canelo you know like he admitted it that was it that was an experience that was a, a teachable moment so to speak yeah for Canelo Alvarez um I think that you know he's got you know more experience now but I think the last couple of fights that Canelo's had he hasn't really you know been that that Canelo dude that we used to seeing now if they got in the ring and got it popping again I think it would be a tougher fight for Floyd it would be a much tougher fight for Floyd who would win Canelo's learned who would win who would win? That's the question. Ooh, that's a good one. Um, Ten seconds. I'm gonna say Floyd. Okay. Right. I'm gonna say Floyd. Thank you, man. Thank you. All right, peace, man. Peace. Down in Sports Talk Tuesday night. One yes, year sir. anniversary. We in the building. Thank Salute. you, man. Peace. Thank you. Salute. Okay. I know that won't happen, guys. I just, you know, I, I like to throw questions at uh, left-handed about boxing. He, he's a very knowledgeable guy, folks. If you're just now tuning in, I'm doing research. And I want to focus on research, okay? 
Hold on a second. Uh, there's also a manhunt going on right now in the North Carolina area. Uh, Gastonia. I'm not sure if this guy is still in Gastonia. Gaston County, Robert Singletary. This is the black guy, 24 years of age. Started ripping shots around 8 p.m. Shot a bunch of white neighbors. Uh, shot a six-year-old. She, she, she's okay. Shot her in the cheek or the face. She's talking. She's, you know, on the news. This happened Tuesday night. Supposedly, a bouncing basketball went into his yard. At some point, he just either said enough's enough or maybe somebody said something to him. Maybe he's got sick and tired of the neighbors violating his space. Not that that justifies shooting a kid and then shooting you know, other people, but uh, there's a manhunt. Anybody at the speed? Did, did, did they catch him yet? Hold on a second. And here's the comment that I want to read from yesterday. Um, give me a second. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. All right. Um, sit tight on the phones, guys. <clears throat> RC from the 315 says, Big Dog Salute. I really appreciate the fact that you want uh, new callers on the show. I know you don't have any friends, but I appreciate the show. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, folks, I want new callers today... If I do a show tonight, you know, I've, I've I just, I need to reset the show and you are appreciated. But however, if you're not up to speed on the topics, please don't call me to catch up and try and take the show off the rails. Thank you, RC from the 315. Propane K, 1982, got you the donation, okay. I'll check that out later, okay. Um, and... Let me go back here for a second. Okay, with regards to um, last night's show and the, the campaign that's going on today, 5 p.m. in New York City, um, EE, -E, whoever you are, EE -E sent in a comment. Uh, I am Puerto Rican. Puerto Rico is effed. Ooh, there are caucasoids everywhere. Soon they will take over the entire island, but best believe once they try to, uh, the Puerto Rican man and woman will, uh, will go until the death, okay, for the island. Puerto Ricans are a naturally good-hearted, loving people. They always are there to help you when you need, and we love you too, Star. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for that. You know, just, again, I want to make sure that some of these uh, stories... That, that go on the table are combed through because I do put effort into the research, right? Sir Shai, got you donation. Uh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, I heard about that. Is that official? The, the Oakland A's are now going to be the Las Vegas A's? Oh, my goodness. Everybody, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me Google that. Oh, my goodness. One hour ago. One hour ago. Thank you, Sir Shai, for the information. The Oakland Athletics have reached an agreement to acquire land near the Las Vegas Strip. Uh, they hope to be playing games in a new billion-dollar uh, roof stadium. Well, you know, it, I think that's a good thing. Um, you, some of you may know that I took a California road trip in November, and I drove by... The, the Oakland A's stadium. <laughs> um, how far is that from East Oakland? Hold on, I'm doing research. Oakland A's stadium. Look like a big dust bowl. <laughs> Look like a big, I said, what the hell? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, okay, hold on a second. <laughs> so, 
Yeah, I, I can't be mad for them going to Las Vegas. <laughs> I can't be. Uh, Oakland Alameda County Coliseum, pardon me, is a stadium in Oakland, California. It's part of the Oakland Alameda County Coliseum Complex. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah, it's time for them to go. <laughs> time for them to go. Oh, my goodness. Anybody know how, how close that is to East Oakland? You already know how I feel about East Oakland. Trash. Complete trash. Area code 804. Good afternoon. Doing research. Are you up to speed on the topics? 804. Yes, dog. Hey, what's up, man? What's going on, man? Research. I want to talk about the um the flight. Yes, sir. Please. Go ahead. Yeah, I think that um Tank Davis will win the fight. Okay. But um, Ryan Garcia is going to give him a fight. They keep, people keep saying that Ryan Garcia ain't going to be able to take his punch. But when he got knocked down before, he got up and started getting busy. Okay. So if Tank knock him down, he's going to up and get busy. But um, as far as the whole purse being bet, I think that's cap. That's yeah. Just to get people talking about the fight and yeah. then the fight. Uh, Cloud Chase, you know, both of them are big time social media guys. So they know how to get it going. They run with Adrian Broner. He's a so you know they know they know the deal. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? And also, well, I'm, I'm I'm talking about it. I mean, I'm not hating, but I just um, I said I hope they're not betting the whole purse because it it, it just seemed like Ryan Garcia was letting uh, 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 Tank's hype man, whoever he is, just get him out of character. Just see. Yeah, guys like that weird me out. All, all that goofy nonsense and pulling his sweatpants all up in his crotch. Go ahead. Right. But I know one thing. Ryan Garcia looked a little scared when he first said it. Let's bet the whole purse. He's talking about everything's already on the line. You know, he's talking about his legacy and all that stuff being on the line, not the money. Right. But then when they kept going at him, going that amping up the set actually worked because that's when he did it. However, I think they made another call off the record and said, listen, that's just to sell the fight. That's just my opinion. Yeah. Or, or, well, real, real or may, quick, maybe okay. Garcia's team said, hey, you know what? We're not working for free. If, if you want to bet your own money, that's fine. But we, we expect to get paid from the fight, you know, and we will get paid or we'll sue you. A lot of times you, you can't just throw the whole purse uh, uh, in some type of, you know, hyped up moment because you've got to pay trainers, PR, right. PR people, all sorts of people eat off of uh, your, your efforts. But okay, you were saying? Yeah, I, I also, but what, back, just think about what you were saying. I think that might be a new thing, though. They might start having win a big all fight. They might have just started something new. That yeah. would be a real thing to make me watch. Yeah. But I wanted to tell you why Broner didn't fight. Go ahead. Broner didn't fight because it wasn't because he got a mental issue or anything like that. According to uh, reports that the, the guy Williams, he was going to fight, broken jaw and foreign. Say again. For the fight. Say again. Say again. He, got, he was fighting somebody named Michael Williams in February. Okay. He was like the 25th. Okay. But the guy got a broken jaw while he was sparring for the fight. Oh. Like a week before the fight. He okay. Beat okay. That's what happened. That's why I wanted that fight. That's what he But he wants to come back. He got some new deal. He, gonna pull it. he thought about a million dollars off again. He's going to be getting $16 off the fights, off the pay per view, off each buy. Oh, he got a real nice. He looked horrible. He looked pudgy. He looked he looked winded when he was up, up, up training for the fight. He looked horrible, horrible. However, he looked good on Million Dollar Worth of Game to me. He looked like he was in fighting shape. He looked like he ready. He looked he sounded serious, okay. but that could be the seller fight. Got you. Okay. So, All right. Thanks for the call, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Right, Salute. Okay. Folks, I'm gonna take a quick break. Doing research, I want to continue talking about some of these. Stories, uh, flushing them out. Some of the uh, inaccuracies, some of the headlines that have just been, you know, salacious. Designed like that so that people can just continue coming back and coming back and coming back. When I come back from my break here, I want to see if you guys are up to speed on the Dalai Lama. There's a new video. You guys know what I'm talking about? The Dalai Lama. 
I just had a little salamander that came inside my, my sliding door. <laughs> and I had, I had to uh, give it time to go outside. <laughs> True story. I was going to uh, get a little black box wine. Oh, yeah. Fresh new uh, little, little box there. And I looked over and I said, what the hell? There's a salamander sitting right there. Came inside, so I had to open up the, uh, the door, the gate. And then stomp and stomp and give it time to get back outside. You know? All right, back to a research show. Hang on a second, folks. I want to ask you guys, are you up to speed? The Dalai Lama. The Dalai Lama appears to have tried to grab Lady Gaga by the coochie. You guys see that video? <laughs> so, so I guess Trump wasn't so bad after all. Grab her by the pussy. Who saw the video? If you have not, Google it. Uh, you can go to Twitter. Uh, what is this Twitter page? At The Awakening. At The Awakening. The Dalai Lama. They're on some type of panel. Lady Gaga is... Uh, somebody's talking, and he just, he puts his hand over on her, her leg and starts doing that. And she smiles, and, and then he reaches his hand into her crotch. Did you see the video? Mmm. The Dalai Lama on that weirdo shit. All right, sit tight on the phones. I'm coming, I'm coming. Um, that was uh, also, also, um, you know, I don't always like to go back with regards to um, um, a prior story, but sometimes I think it's important. There's a new story that just came out about a guy who, um, some type of uh, mulatto on a plane. There's a crying baby. I'm not going to do the research right now. I just want to mention this. And um, I think the, the plane was going from Baltimore to Orlando, TMZ.com. Baltimore to Orlando, and the baby is crying, and then he starts screaming, and yada, yada, and then people are filming this, of course. You guys may, have, may not have seen this video. Um, and then after the plane lands, the, the TSA or the police, whoever, they, they meet the man. They walk off with him. I'm not sure if he was arrested or not, but let me just say, what year was that? There was a white guy who actually slapped the black baby. Remember that? So I can't condemn this guy for at least, you know, being upset and irate. It's a baby. I mean, it's not like you're riding first class. Who remembers that white guy? Let me give you the year. This. He, said, he went to jail. He said, shut that nigger baby up. Who remembers that? Mm, 2013. Good God almighty. I'm going to put this in the live chat. So going back sometimes is important so that, you know, we don't see every new story as, oh, my God, that's, that's so tragic. That's, oh, that's so sad. Because this is some type of mulatto, right? However, the story, the link that I'm putting in the live chat right now is a white guy from 2013. He got up. Uh, Joe Ricky Hundley, H-U-N-D-L-E-Y on a flight from Minneapolis to Atlanta. He got up, 60 years of age, and said, shut that nigger baby up, and slapped the baby. Pow! The fuck? <laughs> oh, is this Alkaline City? I need to talk to you. Okay, hold on a second. Alkaline City, is that you, sir, tapping in on a Thursday afternoon? What is going on, sir? Yep, this is the Mad Rican Alkaline City, the official Puerto Rican correspondent of the Star Report. You know it. Yeah, hey, thank you, man, for responding to my email. Um, you know, listen, I, I say crazy stuff, but I think you know, as many other Puerto Ricans do, I have a lot of love for their culture. I've been intertwined with the Latin Kings and other <laughs> Puerto Ricans over the decades. 
Um, this, the email that I sent you, not saying you had to be up to speed or that you had to do any research, I felt it might be important to at least see if there's any merit to the story, the protest going on today, 5 p.m., uh, the Puerto Rican is not for sale. Please. Oh, man, this, this, this is huge, Star. It's like, huge. Um, it's huge. For all Puerto Ricans that don't even know, and especially if you're a resident of New York City, right. I suggest um, you go to the American Museum of Natural History, you know, at 5 p.m. today. Right. You know, there's a protest. There's a protest against the Hispanic Federation Annual Gala. That's what this is. Yeah. The Hispanic Federation Annual Gala. All the top Puerto Ricans in the world, you know, like Lynn Miranda, a.k.a. Louis Miranda, the the one who created the Hamilton play, mm -hmm. you know, this is spearheaded by him. Yeah, this is spearheaded by him. And you know he's, he's in cahoots with Fat Joe and Jennifer Lopez. Mm -hmm. And, you know, um, this, is, this is about the Promessa bill. Yeah. And if for, any, for anybody who's not up to date with the Promessa bill, um, the Promessa bill, basically, um, it's a restructuring. Yeah. Uh, Pro Promessa reform. I spoke. Let me just jump in for a second. I spoke about this last night. Not not a big reception, but that's okay. You're here now, and and um, Promessa reform. I even saw AOC co-signing this bill. Yes, Alexandria Ortiz, or whatever. Last I forget her last name, but co-signing this. Of, of, of course, because yeah, of course, ahead, AOC is co-signing this because this is part of a, a not only a Puerto Rico restructure. Right. This is a global resetting. And this is called the Green New Deal. Mm -hmm. They got a lot of different names for it. They call it the Agenda 21. They call it the New World Order. They mm -hmm. call it the Green New Deal. That, that's the new terminology. Yep. That's between the Catholic Coalition and AOC. It's the Green New Deal. This is what got her elected into Congress. Right. Okay? And, and she's a Puerto Rican. She spearheaded this years ago. She went around the hood. In Brooklyn and hang in on. the Bronx. Ha hang on, hang on, Alkaline City. I'm gonna, I'm, yes. I'm gonna let you speak. I want you to speak. She, she's also claiming Jewish heritage now. She wasn't talking that talk when she first, you know, was getting her weight up. She was in the hood, yeah, girl, <laughs> you know, and all of that stuff. She, yeah. she's now yeah, because, ta talking the Jewish yeah, heritage. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, when, when, when you get into seating that she has. In Congress now, right. you become part of the Jesuit society. Right. You know. Right. So now, yeah, you got you got to change your heritage. This is this is what <laughs> all of them do. This is why this is what Young Thug did. You know, you remember yeah. Young Thug? He started wearing the the, the Jewish pen pen. Uh, mm -hmm. the, they call it the Star of David. Right. We know it's the Satanic pen. Easy, easy, we know easy, easy. This is a Jewish network. Now, now hang, hang alleged, on. Alleged, yeah. Hang on. So, so stay with me. Stay yeah, with alleged, me. Please. Stay with me. So, um, objectively speaking, objectively speaking, is this new seven-seat member advisory board, the Promessa Reform Bill, is this what Puerto Rico needed because, uh, you know, it's always in debt? Now, again, I'm asking objectively, and they can't get out of debt. Uh, the corruption has been crazy over the centuries, uh, but this is... Um, um, something that people think, as uh, some of the people we just mentioned, they think this has uh, potential to save uh, the, the good parts of Puerto Rican culture, but at the same time, allow it to move forward. What say you? This is a way to, to, to indoctrinate, um, digitize society. Okay. You know, they're going into a smart system. And, and the thing about this debt, this promessa bill, right? Mm -hmm. it's, it's 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 a expedite it's an expedited bill yeah it's called an expedited procedure right an expedited procedure means that you know what there there's nothing that can stop it it's going into play asap asap mm -hmm. rocky yeah. you know the, and, and what this is supposed to do is this is approving critical infrastructures and what are critical infrastructures in puerto rico you know basically you know um uh, the only thing that, that, that's the problem in Puerto Rico is the fiat currency. And what is the fiat currency? That's the American monetary system. Mm -hmm. That's the reason they're, they're restructuring this, this debt. This is a restructuring of the new financial system. Now, let me read this, right? Come on. This is sector four 
of the bill. Yeah. It says the bill pro- prevails over any provision of territory. Listen to what I just said. Go ahead. The bill prevails over any provision of territory. It prevails over any territory, any anywhere in Puerto Rico, anywhere that you have land. It doesn't matter what you say. Right. The bill provides, it, it, it prevails over you. You know, and it says this is the state law or regulation that is inconsistent with this bill. The territories referred to this bill include Puerto Rico, Guam, Amer- so this is not only Puerto Rico, this is also Guam, yeah. the American Samoa, the American Samoa, where's the American Samoa, right? That's the council that's part of the Hawaiian Confederation, mm-hmm. right? And check this out. That's also the, com- it's also the Commonwealth of Northern, the Northern Mariana Islands and the U.S. Virgin Islands. That's Bermuda, St. Thomas, mm-hmm. St. Croix, and Trinidad, Tobago, so forth and so on. You understand? Now, now, hang on a second. Let, let me jump in here. So now, again, you just started calling into the show. I, I appreciate uh, your input. And for those who don't know, you are you have knowledge in the world of cryptocurrency and other things. Uh, if you get me a banner, man, I can promote your YouTube platform. But now, when I sent you this, whoa, uh, hang, whoa, hang, right? hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. When I sent you this yeah. yesterday, what did you say? Holy shit, that fucking star! <laughs> Were you up to speed on yeah, this? I Keep said, it real. We have to speed on this. Well, well, I well, I knew that we spoke that you were going to email me. Right. But when I when I when I spurred a moment, saw the email this morning, right. I said, "Holy shit, fucking sorry." I was like, <laughs> I was like, and then when when you, yes, sir. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You, yeah. P- Puerto Ricans have been good to me. My, my, Don't ever get it twisted. They've been good to me. I, I I take a little jab from time to time, but I'm concerned about this. And if I were in New York, I probably would go to the protest just just to observe things. Go ahead, please. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, because because uh, and the, that's the thing too, man. The protests are the, those are the only things that can that stop these agendas, right? Mm-hmm. There's nothing else that can stop it. it it's as many people that can come together because this is a 1% elite that, 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 that's corporatizing this whole agenda. Mm-hmm. You understand? Yeah. And AOC, is a, she's the spearhead for the, for the Hispanic community. She's the one, you know, trying to infiltrate and make us, territorize us right. by, by, by trying to tell us that she's, going, she's landing good, good things for our community yeah. when it's actually, you know, making a remark for the Jesuit corporation, yeah. you know? So this is this is something that if you're really, uh, you know, you want to. It's not only for Puerto Ricans because this is part of the Agenda 21. This is the global reset. Mm-hmm. When they start hitting New York City with it, and they start hitting the actual United States with it, because what's happening now, right now, the infrastructure. It, there, there's a lawsuit going on with the SEC. Yeah. You know, and, and mm-hmm. they they're, they're, they have a lawsuit with this um, um, cryptocurrency company named Ripple. Okay. Ripple. Right now, they're the they're the bridge currency between this token that the that the Fed now is trying to introduce called the central bank digital currency. So this is a, a central bank right now. This is why you see Silvergate Bank, you know, um, BNY Mellon, all these other banks right now. They're shutting down. This is a domino effect. When when the when the regular you know the centralized banks shut down, the 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 when the regular banks shut down, the central banks have to take order. And the central banks are run by the Fed. Yeah. And the Fed, this is, uh, and I'm not going to say anything, but you see Cash App, the Cash App owner, you know, he yeah. got stabbed well, up. Well, and well, no ha- ha- hang on, Alkaline City, before you go into that, and, and, and I want us to, to really uh, comb through this. There's no rush. I appreciate you calling in with this knowledge again. Um, All right, then I'll take my time. Yeah, I was yeah. No, no, ha- hang on, hang on. So, so now, you know, one might say on the outside looking in, well, you know, we've got to do something about Puerto Rico. It's just, you know, too much money is being pumped in there and there, there's no ROI and they can't pay their debt. However, however, um, yeah, you, you, you hit the nail on the head, uh, a, a great reset. And there was a campaign, I'm not sure if it's still going on, on Puerto Rico, uh, Gringo Go Home, because you have people like Jake Paul, and uh, his brother, I think Logan, they purchased some massive property in Puerto Rico. And, and those are crypto guys. We know him as a, as a entertainer, a troller, yada, yada, yada. 
but but uh, so, yep. so some of the people, well, well the the Islanders, pardon me, and 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 the other people who have been there for for centuries, at some point, if it continues going in that direction, they're going to be almost um, living as living ha- living how they're living in Hawaii. The Islanders will be damn near homeless. Or, or am I am I going too far down the road? You're not go. You're not going too far because people like Jay Paul, right? These colonizers that are coming in, right? Yeah. They know that they're part of this bill, right? Yeah. This is this is a restructuring. If you go to Puerto Rico, the 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 houses they call them like campos, right? Mm-hmm. Because they're these little these little cement one level houses. Some of them people they they add an addition to duplex or a third one on the top if they got the more money right. like that, and they're flossers. You know what I mean? That's the floor thing of Puerto Rico. You just add another level. But these new infrastructures are, are, are first of all, they're, they're hitting these people with these compos with, with these high fines that they can't afford, that they right. didn't have, twenty, right. thirty thousand dollar $30,000 fines, you know, to, to restructure your property or we seize the property. Then they, they, they take the property for the ones they can't afford it. Then they start development. The developments that they're starting are, are basic of, they call them mini, they call them mini smart, Many smart condos. They're the high-rise units, right? Like a regular high-rise unit with a dormant and everything like that. But they're 240 square foot. Yeah. They're called smart homes. And then they're pushing the people. You know, uh, if you if you are a, a low independent, you might qualify or so forth and so on. So this this is a way. This is how they they're taking the old structure out of our indigenous people, yeah. and, and they're they're modernizing it with the regular New York City. You know. You know, capitalist, you know, um, just yeah. basic, you know, condo stereotypes. Stop right there. Stop right there. Reason. Stop right there. I'm going to give you the last word. You, you, you know that. Um, <clears throat> I am a capitalist. So, you know, from a business perspective, something has to be done. However, again, using the model of Hawaii and how the islanders and the, the natives there's a, a growing percentage of natives uh, on Hawaii who are homeless, living in vans. They can't even afford to to rent on Hawaii. Um, so, so are you going to? Not that you have to. I'm just asking. Are you going to this protest, or can you keep us in the loop? I, I you know, just curious. Well, well, it's definitely going to be televised. So okay. look, look at look Good at enough. channels. Good look enough. at channels like Univision. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Look at channels like Univision or mm-hmm. Telemundo. It's definitely going to be televised if you can't Telemundo. make it. Telemundo. And what I want to tell people to what I want to tell I want to land with this. Okay. I want to tell people if you Puerto Rican, stop wearing the red, white, and blue. Mm. And we got the resistance in Puerto Rico. We got the resistance in Puerto Rico. Start a new flag colors. It's black and white. Whoa. It's black and white. That's the. Yep, so I ne- and we're the resistance. I need to see this. Can you send me an email, please? Please. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I will send you links on the resistances of Puerto Rico, and everybody's wearing the black and white. That's the new flag. So throw down the red, white, and blue unless you're a communist. Mm. And start. <laughs> I'll, talk, hey, I'll land with that. Hey, and you hey, have a great day, I, I got your yep. email, man. Let's stay in touch. You, you said you, you linked with some older Puerto Ricans who, who know me, Yes. Oh, Charlie, you know Charlie Hustle from Sunset Park, Brooklyn? He's a rapper. That's my guy. He that's was, my guy. He, he, that's my guy. <laughs> that, that's, one of my, that's one of my best friends. You know what I'm saying? And he wants to give me a tell-all of, you know, of everything he did with Big Pun mm. and everything, how Fat Joe Scum, how right. fat Joe scumbag Pun. Say, say no more. Say no more. Let's, yeah, talk, I, let's talk behind the scenes. Tell him I said what's up. That's my guy. But I appreciate you calling in with this information, this knowledge. Keep me posted, man. Thank you, Alkaline City. Thank you. Yes, sir. Peace out. Peace out. Okay. Woo! Here we go. Great call. Great call. I sent him the information, as you heard him say yesterday. That's that's what we do here in the Star Report. Exchange of information, Okay. All right, guys, on the show runner is my PayPal information. If you want to contribute to the show, if you don't have Cash App, your support is appreciated. Also, Deeds always wants me to remind you to hit the like button. Hit the like button, okay? Uh, 
as I said earlier, um, I want to comb through these stories, and I want some information here. Uh, can, can we go left uh, to the bullshit for a second? And, and, and I think I think I got somebody who's been on a hold. 302, sit tight. I see you. 302, sit tight. We have to add a, a, add a little uh, fuckery to, to the research show. Dollar Tree employee attacks manager because she wouldn't let her go home early. Four babies, are you up to speed? Where did this happen? We, we have somebody being beaten half to death in some type of Dollar Tree. They've torn the place up. As black people do. <laughs> and I have no problem with black people tearing up uh, certain... certain uh, uh, um, you know, bodegas in places. You know, white boys come in shooting, don't they? So black people, you know, tear shit up. I'm not, I'm not tripping. W where did this happen? The Dollar Tree employee, the manager couldn't get up. The manager was damn near 400 pounds. Where did that happen? Mm, niggas talking reckless. Osiris X TV. I see you, my nigga. He says, burn it down. Um, Nick, Nick, we don't care if it's old fuckery. <laughs> That's the point of doing research. We want to, you know, get more details and be accurate. Where, where and when did it happen? That's the point. <laughs> where and when did it happen? <laughs> um, and that's the last story I wanted to, um, uh, put on the table this afternoon. 302, is that who I think it is tapping in? Area code 302. Yes, sir. It's the one and only Mr. Skylar Saunders. Skylar, they are on your head. Pause in my community yes. section. As they you should notice. be. As they should be. Let's go. <laughs> As they should be. Let's go. Let's go. Um, can, can I just promote for a little bit? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. So, so... There's a, there's a guy called Choice Star, Star Train, right? And he said, you know, you're a great writer. You're a good writer. That's nice. That's cute. But you need to put your face out there somehow. Right. right. So I said, you know what? Right. I'm going to grab this camera from my uh, MacBook, yeah. turn on this light, put on a hat and a tie and a shirt. Yeah. And I'm going to get it cracking. Yeah. And it's been going pretty well so far. That's what I told you. Jump from the frying pan into the fire. So, so right listen, into the fire. So listen, I, you're in the I did, hang I did on. Light research. You, you're in the community section. We want the traffic to go to you. You want the smoke. You sent me a new video. It's going to be a couple of days before we post that one. I, we, we want to make sure that sure each, thing. each sure video, thing. you know, gets absorbed. Okay, but um, absolutely. And, and and listen, man, with the pictures, don't cut off the top of your head. Maybe you, you may even want to take a different picture. Send me that the way Florida Boy J did, and we can post a different picture to then complement the video. Got me? Okay, I, I, I'll experiment with that because yeah, yeah. I have fo I have one video where I definitely had it chopped off, but there's other videos mm. where it, there's it's not chopped off. It's just like the end of the video. I don't right, know right. why they oh. have it like that, but, you know. Now, I'll listen, before you go, hang on, before you go, um, you've put this information out there. You're a great writer, but tell the people exactly what, what type of medication you're on again, because, you know, they're, they're coming at you and you want them to be accurate. What are you on? You're on lithium and what else? I'm not on Zanny, Addy, Percocets or no. Molly. You're on the real shit. You you're on that I'm real on. shit. What are you on? I'm on Olanzapine, Trazodone, Lithium, and uh, what's the next one? Uh, Clanzapan. Mm. Say less. Say Those less. Those are all psych drugs. Leave it right there. Leave it right there. Folks, go to, go to the community section. Go to Skyler's page. We'll talk later. You did great. Have a good Absolutely. day. Have a good day. Salute. Salute. Okay. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm not laughing at him, but holy smokes, I've never even heard of uh, three of those drugs. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. 
Okay, okay. All right. Hey, Janet. Janet's happening. Uh, yes. Okay. John Leguizamo pretended to be Puerto Rican. Oh, Janet, do you have a link? They're saying Colombian in Wikipedia, but I could have swore when he came on the Star and Buckwild show, we was talking that Puerto Rican shit. Because <laughs> I do a lot of the old school, and I still do have some, some Puerto Rican, well, friends who just happen to be Puerto Rican. They're my friends. Yeah, he was he was talking Puerto Rico. Now he's Colombian. <laughs> I'm gonna have to pull the videotape and <laughs> and put it out there. Hold on a second. Uh, hold on, hold on. Uh, okay, that's something different. I'll get back to that. Thank you, Janet. That's not not uh, what I'm talking about. Hemp Lord, I got your donation. Hemp Lord says salute. Thank you, sir, for your. Uh, Contribution. Um, uh, Sir Shy, is that you? Sit tight. Sit tight. I'm coming right to you next, Sir Shy. Whoa. Okay, we'll get to that later. Andre, I got your email. Mm, mm, mm. Two Iowa teens have pleaded guilty to killing their high school Spanish teacher with a bat. You see? You see? We've got a culture crisis in America. Don't, don't just be blaming black people. Just because, you know, I give out the Chakezia Clemens Awards to Mammy. You know, Mammy gets up in uh, Popeye's and uh, what else? Uh, Waffle House and, you know. Where's that recent fight? Oh, God. Troll babies in Savannah. A couple of mammies got busy. But at least they're not, you know, killing the Spanish teachers, allegedly, like these white boys out in Iowa. Lord Jesus. Thank you, Andre, for that email. I'll comb through that later. Blade tapping in. The baby that uh, the drunk white guy slapped was half white. And being, oh, Blade talking crazy. I, I could have swore that, that, that the parents of that black baby in 2013 were both black. Blade, are you sure? That white man smacked that baby and said, shut that nigga baby up. Flamethrower, I see a flamethrower. It's the start. Did you see the mammy who got kidnapped and released in Mexico? Yeah, caught with a gun. Who gives a shit? But thank you. Thank you. Yeah, she was at Myrtle Beach. Regular shit. Uh, 510, you are my last caller. Good afternoon. 510, who's that? Sir Shy? Yep, yep. Sir Shy, Oakland, California. What's going on, Hip Hop Highlander? Hey, man. Well, what's going on with the, the Oakland A's are moving to... L Las Vegas? The fuck? Yeah, John Fisher, the owner of the Oakland A's. Mm. Him and a, I forgot the other guy's name. Come he's, on. The, he's the guy that owns Gap. They bought some land over by um, about a mile away from the Raiders Stadium. Okay. And it's going to be um, the Red Rock. I think they partnered with the Red Rock Casino guy. So, yeah, okay. they got some land parcel for a new baseball ballpark. Okay. Yeah, the city of Oakland, man, in the last four years we lost the Raiders. The Warriors went across the bay, so we didn't really lose them. But and then now we're about to lose the A's. It's, it's, it's sad. Well, well, listen, man. You know, I just got back from my California road trip in November. I went through Oakland. Certain parts of Oakland are mm -hmm. nice. I went to that library, you know, Oakland Library. Um, and then I drove out to East Oakland. That's that's a hellhole like I've never seen before. How far is is the uh, Oakland A's stadium from East Oakland? It's it's it is East Oakland. I mean, you oh, probably went down San Leandro. So right. yeah, it's like part of a you know the bar stations right, right. there. Um, it's right next to the Raiders, uh, the Oakland Arena where the Warriors used to play. It's just part of the greater uh, East Oakland area. It's a complex over there. Now, now hang on a sec hang on a second. 
f driving by, it looked dusty. W was that the pollution or was that just, is it an old ass goddamn stadium? It looked dusty and dirty from the outside. The reason why it's dusty is because it's wedged in between a lot of factories and uh, trucking trucking companies. Right. It's unlike Philadelphia sports complex. Philadelphia and Oakland have the same sports complex. Difference is, is Philadelphia is closer to a neighborhood, yeah. while Oakland's in the middle of an industrial area. Yeah. I, I, I can't be mad so, at, at, at the Oakland A's uh, for moving to Vegas. That, that thing was no, I don't blame them. Dusty. The city, the city of Oakland should have... I always thought the city of Oakland should have took care of the Raiders. Um, Oakland's more of a football town than it is baseball. And they let the Raiders go and but kept the A's, and the A's just left a few years later. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Good to hear from well, you, man. Hopefully we don't tear it. You want to chime in on any of the topics? Let's on touch, let's touch on the boxing. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, yeah. Um, it's going to be the biggest fight since uh, the second fight between Sugar Ray Leonard and uh, the Duran. So it's going to be the same thing. I think Javante uh, is going to make uh, Garcia say no mas. Objectively speaking, what happens if I'm Ryan? Listening. What happens if Ryan Garcia pops Javante Davis chain and drops that nigga? Then what? I'm not going to. I'm going to hear it a lot from my Mexican girlfriend and her parents, especially her brother. Man, he's all. Ryan Garcia out. So I'm all like, all right, keep that same energy this weekend. And she's like, babe, don't tease him. It's like, I don't care, bro. Like, these, uh, no, me, me keep it cool. I'm on live. We'll see. Javante's going back at me up. So it's all good. I don't let think let me a... ask you again, Sir Shy. I appreciate your support. What happens if Ryan Garcia pops Javante Davis chain and drops that nigga? Then what, sir? Well, I'm gonna have to wear a sombrero and have a Ryan Garcia shirt on Monday okay. at work. So okay. that's the bit. Okay. I appreciate your support, man. Thank you for chiming in. Thank you. No problem. No problem. Yes, Peace. Peace. Okay. Peace. Firestarter also sends a PayPal. Okay, start. I'm on the line. Oh, you're on the line. Oh, seven. Wait a minute. Where are you? Where are you, Firestarter? I don't see you, man. Are you on the line now? Where is 0739? I don't see you. Can you call back? 0739. Firestarter, where are you? Where are you? I was talking Puerto Rican business. I got tied up. Hold on a second, guys. <clears throat> Omar says, Star, John Leguizamo was born in Colombia. He thought he had Puerto Rican roots on his father's side, but on finding your roots, he did not. Oh, okay, okay. So I was right. He, he, yeah, he came on the Star and Buck Wild show. He was claiming Puerto Rican. <laughs> we, we were talking all that old uptown uh, Hector Camacho shit back in the days, you know? Hey, hey. So now he's Colombian, huh? <laughs> Firestarter, is that you tapping in? Firestarter. Uh, good evening, Star. It's Firestarter calling from Rome, New York. Good to hear from you, man. What's cracking? <laughs> hey, man. Just, just, I know you don't go back, but the teacher who beat up that little kid in North Carolina, she actually just dropped a, a statement, a video. Can you send me a link, please? What is she saying? Yeah, what is yeah it's she on World Star. Okay, what is she saying? Yeah, on what World Star. Saying? Xavier Steele. Saying, what is she saying? Yeah. She says she has four kids, and her kids would never do something like that to her. She's married. Okay. She was taking a real estate class. Now okay. her real estate class may be in jeopardy because she has to charge. Mm. She talked about a teacher got a gun pulled on her before. It's a whole bunch of just a, a big cluster, you know what. So just want to give you that quick update. Well, stay with me. Stay with, stay with me because you have been known to troll. You know, I have to double check. And um, so I just want to know. Well, ho hold on, hold on. I'm going there right now. And I, you know, I saw a crazy video this morning. I don't even want to comment on that. Uh, some parents dropped off their 18 year old uh, adopted daughter, l left her at the shelter. That was crazy. Okay, here's the video. You're right. Okay, so she 
She made a video. Okay, I'm going to check this out. Thank you, Firestarter. Thank you. Now, have you seen in my community section, there's a Hispanic um, substitute teacher. She was on the job a couple of months. Hang on a second. Uh, she's been fired for encouraging. Well, she, was, she was holding fight clubs. Um, fight clubs in the class. Do you have to speed on that? Definitely up to speed on that. Lately, your community section has been lit. Yeah. I've got to salute you on that as well. It's Thank been lit. you. Um, between, between that video and the, <laughs> the NYPD officer, <laughs> they've <laughs> got to hit in the head with the bottle. has been beautiful. Fire yes, starter. Why, why are you laughing in the afternoon at a police officer that was hit with the bottle in the Bronx? <laughs> <laughs> we do that in the evenings. In the afternoon, we have to be more rational. Hang on a second. I, I, su I support I support our um, people in blue, but um, you're full of shit. I'm still over here. Let me know if you want me to check on the cars. <laughs> Let me know if you want me to check on the cars while I'm up here in Rome, New York, or the flats. All right. Are you really in Rome? Seriously, I thought you were trolling. Okay, he hung up. <clears throat> Okay, I'm, I'm going to delete the, uh, the post in my community section. I put it up earlier. Did you guys see the video uh, that came out prior to Xavier Steele in North Carolina beating on that baby over her phone? There's a uh, Hispanic, Natalie Garcia, a substitute teacher. She, had, she, she told the kids, put the phones away, had her arms folded, and, she, and they got busy. Damn. Uh, Newt8282 says, FBJ still hurting from the 2013 smack on the play. <laughs> oh. Okay, I didn't, I didn't even realize what I was reading. Thank you for your donation. Thank you for your donation. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, somebody's sending me something about something that ain't got a goddamn thing to do with me, but okay. Blade says, hey, Star, did you see how your fellow Arabs are looking to sue Netflix mm, over a depiction of a black Cleopatra? Send me a link, Blade. Send link. Hold on, guys. Send a link. Okay. All right, I think we're good here. We've, we've had a good research show this afternoon. I thank you guys for chiming in. Okay. Um, Michi X tapped in, and she has a, an event going on. Let me get that ready for you guys. A conference. Okay. Our banner is coming up next. Hold on, everybody. Hold on. In the Atlanta area, please stop by. Show her uh, your support. Tell her I sent you. Where's the banner? Where's the banner star? Okay, it's coming up in the roll. Pardon me, it's in the roll. All right, and I will see you guys uh, tomorrow at some point. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for your support. Take care.